Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well. If you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so happy to have you join us. If you like luxury and product reviews, planning and organization, skincare, basically if you like anything, this channel is for you. So click subscribe and join the community. We are having a blast. And if you're going to do that, go ahead and also follow me over on Instagram. I'll leave my handle at the bottom of the screen. We love to chat over there. I share lots of content and I answer every single comment and question. As you can see, I have a new planner today and that is the yellow large Kiki K planner. This planner is no longer being produced, but I was able to find one in brand new condition on eBay. And I thought it would be really great going into spring and summer just to have a little change. I'm still using my Louis Vuitton desk agenda with the Hobo Nietzsche and graphic image notebooks. We'll definitely visit this and I'll let you see how I set it up and what I'm still using in my Hobo Nietzsche but I am enjoying the change up to the ringbound planning system. Now I did add a patch to my Kiki K planner. This is a hummingbird patch that I used um, the other one that came with it in a DIY patchwork shirt. I'll leave that video linked down below if you're interested, but I just added it to add this big pop and graphic aspect to such a plain planner. Also, hummingbirds are really special to me. I have one right here. It's in honor of my grandma who I lost in August, um, who was my best friend and her favorite creature was hummingbirds. So I'm going to dive in this planner, how I set it up, how I'm using it, and why I am loving it. And I have some killer inserts to share with you. So as you all know, I'm a pretty basic planner person. I don't do a ton of decorating. However, with this planner, I actually did a lot more decorating on the front pocket than I normally would do. All of these palm prints that you see came from Sessa V. I will leave all that stuff linked down below. In the pocket, I have some palm post-its because I need post-its a lot for work. Just a couple journaling cards that I like the graphic print. And then what I really love, and you can simply Google this, is the John C. Maxwell's Daily Dozen. So in here are like the 12 things you should really think about all day long. The John C. Maxwell's Daily Dozen, I will leave linked down below the card that I actually downloaded, and I just backed it once again with one of those palm prints from Sessa V. Now, the dashboard is also just a really cool quote from Sessa V, don't be afraid, pave your own path. And then we will dive in to the most incredible ring-bound inserts I think you could ever ask for. So these, once again, come from Sessa V. The paper quality is so thick and so luxurious, and it has this amazing marble print. Then it has a place for your date, an agenda that goes from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m., a priority list, and then a number one to-do list, a number two to-do list, and then three designated boxes, and very lightly printed is a water intake tracker. Now, I do really love this layout, but I do adapt it and make some changes. I feel that you must be comfortable with knowing that an insert might not meet all the criteria that you need it to meet for your life or you might have other systems that take place of this. So I'm gonna show you how I change this and make it work for me, and then hopefully you can apply some of those tips and tricks to make templates work for you even better. Before we jump in, I gotta share one more thing that I'm loving. This Lamy pen is also a new favorite. I also just ordered it in bright yellow to match this planner, but I'm still going back to my all-time planning favorite. You guys know, the Microline pens. I'll leave these linked down below. They're from Amazon and they are magnificent and I love these things. So I'm going to go ahead and set up one day for you and then just know that that is what the rest of the week looks like. So the first thing I do is I take the page out because I am left-handed, my friends, and those rings get in the way. All my left-hand friends totally feel my pain. So. So the first thing I do is add washi tape. And you guys know I had one simple strand of washi tape every single time, and I found this beautiful cactus printed washi tape that I am absolutely loving. And all I do is simply add that right to the bottom. In my agenda, I have some standing meetings that are always the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill out my day because it pretty much looks the same Monday through Friday. So 
So I went ahead and filled up my daily schedule. What I have found that I've been doing a lot better since I've been using a Hobonichi that also has the timestamps is literally putting everything in, even those little personal things that are just for me. Those things I find I don't do them as consistently when I don't designate a time that I'm going to be doing them. So my first tip to you, yes, use this for work. Yes, use it to remember all the tasks you need to do for those parts of your day, but also remember to schedule in the things that are important to you that you want to do for yourself and give them a specific time because then you'll be likely to use them. Now I'm going to show you how I start to adapt this section and this section to fit what I need it to fit. So I love these stickers that I got from an Etsy shop called Myla. I will leave the shop linked down below. I'm just gonna cover up that priority box and in there I'm going to write gratitude. So here is where I'll be putting the things that I'm grateful for that day. Next is this number one box and I'm going to go ahead and write workout routine. So there I have my workout routine for that cardio day. This obviously changes based on what the workout is for that day. For this bottom section, I once again make it work for me. So what I simply do, a little sticker, this one is today is awesome and then I just use these lines to jot down anything else that I want to remember about the day for me I'm super weird and I will often talk about like the weather what the weather was like it's a habit that I got from my grandmother she used to always record it and document it in a little planner on her desk um, but I don't need it for a to-do list because that's where my desk agenda really plays a part in my day-to-day -day life then in these bottom boxes I've made a really big shift as you guys know I used to do BLD and then I write what I was eating that day. My meal prep game has stepped up in such a way that instead of that, I'm actually just writing what I'm having for those three meals. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that out. As you can see, this page takes me seconds to set up. It's so easy and I really love how it is working for me. So what I would do is finish this for all the weeks and then after I'm done with that, you know how I feel, if you've watched any of my Plan With Me videos, how I feel about these Sessa V top three and everyday cards. So on the top three card is where you can write the top three things that have happened that week. It always keeps you really reflecting on like goals that you've hit, quotes that really resonated with you. It's a super great way to just have a highlight of the week. And then every day is your habit card. But what I do with those is I simply center them within my hole punch. So once I insert them, I just always move them to the next day so they're always front and center. What's great about them is you can flip and turn them very easily. They get out of the way so you can write. I really enjoy these cards. I just ordered another set because I'm going through them so quickly. Once again, I'll leave all of these linked down below. So that's the skinny on the Kiki K planner, but I'm still using my desk agenda. For my Hobonichi, I am still using my monthly spread in it. If you want to see my monthly spread, you can check out any of my videos. Um, that's where my month-to-month -month calendar is. I'm not using the day-to-day -day pages right now because I'm using the Kiki K, but like I said, I like flexibility. The Kiki K is for spring and summer. I will always come back to this because I love it. Next, I'm going to talk you through about the setup of my graphic image notebook, which I've already set up. So I'm just gonna share this once again with you because this was a big hit. These are what I call my people boxes. I use very thin washi tape and I squared off pages for everybody that I meet with. So during the week, if I'm not meeting with them yet and I need to remember to tell these people something, I go ahead and put it inside their box. That way when I'm meeting with them, I turn to this and say like, oh, I had these things to tell them. This one's already set up for this week. As you can see, I use my same cactus washi tape so it all matches and goes together. I have been using these religiously and I'm telling you it is the best thing I've ever done. Once again, make something work for you. Just because it's a plain notebook doesn't mean it needs to remain a plain notebook. Make it work for you. So these are my people boxes. And then the next section for my week, once again, I have washi tape. I have my work to-do list and my life to-do list. And that is why I'm not using the boxes in the Sessa V. I simply use these to always track my to-do list. It gives me a lot more space because there's a lot more things than I need to get done. Then the following pages are just where I keep all my meeting notes of things that come up during meetings. Sometimes those things get translated back into a people box. Sometimes they get added to my to-do list, but I like all of that in one section. 
So friends, that is my plan with me video. I hope you liked it. I hope you got some idea from it. Just remember, if a template isn't perfect, doesn't mean that you can't make it work. Adjust and think about the things you needed to do and then make it happen by the use of stickers and washi tape. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please click subscribe, join the community. I can't wait to bring you more Plan With Me videos. But in the meantime, I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.